Today, I'm going to leak what is in every single Easter egg in Madden 24 that is opening on Easter Sunday. From the absolute worst Easter egg all the way up to the ultra rare one that everybody needs. Starting off with this one, which is just a simple egg. It actually quick sells for 350 chocolate, which is the lowest out of every single egg in the entire game. So you can bet that you probably won't be pulling any limiteds out of this egg. There's not really any dead giveaways on this one though, unfortunately, other than the color of it, which is obviously yellow and orange. So my best bet on this one is that it's going to be a very low, like 82, 83 plus player. Nothing too crazy. It's just going to be something super, super simple, but hopefully something hatches out of it that you guys will all really like. And speaking of like, here's a gift card on Xbox or PlayStation for one of you guys. Go ahead and redeem it as fast as you can before somebody else does. And if you guys get a thousand likes on this video, I'll give one away to one of my lucky subscribers who hits the like button in comments down below. Papa Dom, give me the eggs down below. So one of you can open a pack. And after that, we have this egg, which is the second most common one in the entire game, the 58 egg. This one quick sells for 370 chocolate, barely more than the simple egg, but at least we know what this one is going to be. Obviously, if you look at it, it says 58. We just had Super Bowl 58, so it's very obvious this one is going to be a low overall Super Bowl or better play. So it makes sense for this one to be a super low overall. And that's literally it for the simple eggs. There's only two different ones as far as I know. So now we're gonna move on to the nice eggs. But before we do, guys, if you guys would like me to drop a video where I spent 15 million coins pulling every single egg in the game and opening every single easter egg pack hit the like button on this video and i got you guys i'll be doing a giveaway in that video and some challenges i must complete in the video so be sure to watch it i'll drop it in a couple days and of course that'll be a one of two part video where i'm going to be opening up every single egg on easter sunday for a massive video you guys do not want to miss so have notifications on if you enjoy the video subscribe and be sure to subscribe to the channel i would greatly appreciate it now of course next up we have the nice egg which quick sells for 608 chocolates about double what the simple ones do and this one once again doesn't really have any indicators of what it could possibly be it has green on it and it just says nice and i think the coloring is just kind of to throw us off to be honest with you guys but since it's the most common nice present in the game i don't expect it to be anything crazy the best i could expect is maybe some 89 or 90 overall plus packs that's about like the limit of what i think they're going to be though i don't want to like over analyze and think they're going to be something insane after what happened with the christmas presents so i think an 89 or maybe even 90 90 plus overall player would be the best we get out of these with most of them obviously being the very low end of what you can pull out of the pack. After that though, we've got the Genkai egg, which quick sells for 690 chocolates, a little bit more than the nice egg, but not really too much more, obviously. Now the tough part with this one is obviously the lowest Super Bowl cards were like 86s, but the lowest Genkai Force cards are also around 85 or 86 overalls. And I think this is going to be on the lower end, but maybe it'll end up being like an 89 plus overall pack. I think that could could be a likely option or maybe even a 90 plus pack. I don't think it's going to be a 93 plus because EA is not that kind. If they want to shock me though and give us 93 pluses, then by all means, I will not complain about that. I think the most likely option is probably like 86, 87 plus packs, whatever the lowest end Genkai Force cards are that aren't like 84 overalls. Again, I'm just trying to temper everybody's expectations so they don't get too disappointed when these open on Easter Sunday and they're bad or maybe even they're awesome. Hopefully that's that's the goal here. I heard hitting the like button on this video actually makes the eggs better. So uh, hit the like button, you'll get better pack luck. And after that, we have the Dynasty Egg, which quick sells for 710 chocolates, actually a decent amount. And this one is actually one of the most rare nice eggs in the entire game. As you guys can see, I only have eight of them as opposed to 32 of the nice eggs. And obviously looking at this one, it's going to be a Division Dynasty player. Now the main question is what version of Division Dynasty is it going to be? I think honestly, the most likely option would be the 80 pluses but there is 91 overall so we're going to say maybe 91 plus division dynasty cards but most likely the 88 pluses and again i assume that you're going to be able to pull any version in these packs so it'll be the plus but hopefully it's actually 91 plus instead of 88 plus just for value wise though i think it's going to be 88 plus which moves us on to the next tier of cards before we get to even more rare cards with the extravagant eggs we have the excellent eggs god i'm really tired of these puns but uh you know what at least the ea's trying with something in this game. The excellent eggs quick sell for 1400 chocolates. And before I say what I think is going to be in these guys, we have brand new special offers every single day for the March tourney on Underdog Fantasy. To enter the March tourney, all you have to do is click the link in the description on Underdog Fantasy. Use code DOM when you 
you are signing up, you'll not only get up to $100 in free bonus cash by matching your first deposit, you'll get new special offers pretty much every single day just for signing up and using my code. Now, obviously the March journey only lasts a couple of weeks. So you gotta be quick signing up. Some of the special offers literally only last like a couple of hours. So when you use code DOM, be fast, sign up. Here's some of my picks for today's games. Be sure to get on these and tell me down below who you're picking, who you think is going to win the tourney, all of that. And most importantly, use code DOM. Huge shot to underdog fantasy and let's get back to the video. It just takes a couple of seconds to sign up. So be quick with it. I would greatly appreciate if you could do it. It helps the channel out a ton. Now the excellent eggs quick sell for 1400 chocolate, a decent bit more than the last ones did. Now, when we look at the Sugar Rush players, the 95 overalls actually quick sell for 2400 chocolates. So looking at this, I don't think it's going to be 95 plus players, but I think it's fair to assume that these are going to possibly be the Sugar Rush players, but they're going to be like 92 plus 93 plus. I think 92 plus is probably what it is going to end up being of the Sugar Rush players. It has the exact same logo. It has the same coloring as the Sugar Rush players. So this right here, obviously a Sugar Rush player. The only question is, is it going to be 92 plus or 95 plus? And again, I really think it's going to be 92 plus overall just based off of the value, but at least we're starting to get better packs here. And after that, we have the Combine Egg, which of course is another one of the excellent eggs. Now, I think it's probably fair to assume that these are probably going to be 93 plus combine players because obviously the value on these is 1,370 chocolate. So I think the best thing we could possibly get out of these is going to be 93 plus combine players. It could be slightly lower than that. It could be 90 plus if EA is really selfish with these, but I'm hoping that it's going to end up being 93 plus just to give us better value all of these because obviously it's nearly April. Hopefully EA is wanting us to have more fun on Easter Sunday. Usually when one promo that gives us presents or eggs is bad. The other one's really good. Obviously, Christmas wasn't that great other than the limited. So I'm hoping that the Easter promo gives us a lot more value out of our eggs. And next up is the honors egg, which quick sells for 1,370 chocolate once again. Now this one right here is what makes me think that all of these are going to be 93 pluses or somewhere in that range because the lowest non-nat versions of combine cards are 93 overall. So the only thing they could really do is give us 93 pluses. I don't think they're going to give us 87s that you could get from solos. It makes far more sense for these to be 93 pluses that we would get out of this pack again it's going to be honors players because it is the honors egg but i think it's really going to be a 93 pluses that's pretty much the only thing we could get out of these which makes the other ones seem a lot better because they could be 93 pluses as well considering they're all around the same value and now that we're done with all of the excellent eggs we're moving on to some of the rare ones and then we're moving on to even the most rare eggs in all of madden 24 ultimate team which are the limited eggs but we'll get back to those in a minute because we have to go through the extravagant ones. Now the extravagant eggs are worth 4,140 chocolates, at least the normal extravagant egg is. And with the value of the 95 overall Sugar Rush players being about 2,500 chocolates, I think these are probably going to be 95 or 96 plus packs, at least from the extravagant versions of these eggs. Again, we gotta do it based off of value. EA's market guy is an absolute genius, even though I hate him and I despise him and he's a disgusting freak. We have to go off of what the numbers are and it makes the most sense for these to be 95 or 96 plus packs. Obviously, this being 4,000 chocolate is a lot less than the 95 overalls, but if it's a plus, then obviously it's gonna have more value because you could pull a 98 or a 99 out of them. And I think that's exactly what's gonna happen with these is these are gonna be 95 or 96 plus packs. After that, we have the ultimate egg, which is actually going to quick sell for 4,100 chocolates. Now, obviously with the coloring on this one and everything, this one is gonna be ultimate legends. It makes the most sense. And I think this one is also going to be 95 plus ultimate legends just like i think the extravagant egg is going to be any card in the game just a regular base 95 or 96 plus pack i think the ultimate legend egg is going to be a base 95 or 96 plus ultimate legend pack again if ea screws us on this that is very depressing and they suck even worse than we thought they did because they're ruining our days on easter sunday but we'll see as of right now based off of the value i think there's going to be 95 or 96 plus and then we have the wild card egg i only pulled one one of this one so it's actually a pretty rare one but it quick sells for 4140 chocolates and i'm gonna say the th same thing as i did with the other ones maybe somewhere around a 94 95 or 96 plus
plus wild card Wednesday player. If you look at obviously the art on it and everything, the name of it, this is a wild card Wednesday card. It's going to be random, I'm assuming, and probably just a plus pack, just like all the other ones in this. I'm hoping at least it's a plus pack. EA could absolutely shaft us and make that none of them plus packs, but considering they get more lenient with the game around April and the end of March, I think this is probably going to be a 94, 95, or 96 plus pack. And then after that, we have one of the coolest ones in the game, which is the team of the year egg. Obviously, this is going to be a team of the year player, but what overall do we think it's going to be? It's going to be 4,090 chocolates to quick sell it. And the lowest overall team of the year players are 95 overall. So I think it's pretty fair to assume these are going to be 95 or 95 plus packs. We have to do it based off of what is actually in the game. There's no cards lower than that from the team of the year promo. So it makes the most sense for this to be 95 or just 95 plus packs. There's really no other way we can go around this. And now that we're done with the extravagant eggs, we have the rarest eggs in all of Madden Ultimate Team. The limited exclusive eggs. Each one is going to contain a limited 99 overall player. And I'm here to tell you guys exactly what is going to be in each one. First things first, we have the Mad Stork egg, which is going to cost 9,560 chocolates. It's literally the same cost as just going and quick selling a 98 overall, but obviously there's a limited, so they're going to be 99 overall. And this one obviously says Mad Stork. It has Raiders colors on it. The only player who has ever gone by Mad Stork in NFL history is Ted Hendricks. This is going to be a 99 overall Ted Hendricks. It makes the most sense. The only question is, is it going to be an outside linebacker or a strong safety? And considering we have had so many out of position players this year, I genuinely think this is going to be a 99 strong safety Ted Hendricks. It makes the most sense out of anything considering EA is so obsessed with out of position players this year. I couldn't see it being anything else. But one thing I could genuinely see it being is a golden ticket because a couple years ago on Easter Sunday, we got our first golden ticket. It was a Jadavion Clowney. So it would be cool if EA dropped this Ted Hendricks as a golden ticket, AKA strong safety Ted Hendricks. We'll see though, but I think it very well could be a golden ticket Ted Hendricks. After that, we have the matchup nightmare egg, which is going to also be 9,560 chocolates. This one is the toughest one for me to guess on because obviously it has the yellow, it has the green. This looks like Packers colors to me. And of course it says matchup nightmare. Now it could be, in my opinion, possibly just an NFC North player. We've got the Lions, we've got the Bears, we've obviously got the Packers. Will it be a Packer? Will it be a Lion? It could end up being a match of nightmares in Calvin Johnson. The colors could just be throwing us off and it could be a match of nightmare in the fact that it's a tight end Gronk, anything like that. I think the most likely option though is going to be Jermichael Finley because he's been called Match of Nightmare before. On top of that, he was literally a Green Bay Packer. It makes the most sense, at least to me, but it could just be EA putting random colors on this and it could end up being like a Calvin Johnson, a Gronk, a Jermichael Finley, anything like that. We're just gonna have to wait and find out though. I think those are the three most likely options though, in my opinion. After that, we have the Go Birds, which again is another limited egg. And this one's actually the toughest one to get guess because it just says go birds so obviously this one's going to be an eagle but which eagle is it going to be there's a lot of guys that could get cards it could be harold carmichael it could be jalen hurts the coolest option to me though would be eagles mike vick obviously he's had a ton of cards in this game but a 99 overall quarterback eagles version of michael vick would be the sickest thing of all time and although i think it's going to end up being a jalen hurts because you know the eagles haven't been shown in mike vick's card art in forever my hope is that this is going to be a 99 overall Eagles Michael Vick. Literally the best version of Michael Vick in the NFL. The most iconic is obviously the Falcons, but the best version of him was on the Eagles. So I would love to see that 2010 season of Michael Vick be this card. I think the most likely option though, again, is going to be probably a Jalen Hurts or maybe even an out of position cornerback version of Harold Carmichael or just wide receiver Harold Carmichael. And then the final egg is going to be this branch out exclusive egg. This one has lion's colors. It's obviously going to be a 99 overall, but there's only one player on the Lions who literally goes with Branch Out, which is Brian Branch. It could be another play on words where it's like Branch Out as in a tall guy, the guy's the size of a tree, Calvin Johnson. <laughs> I just want a Calvin Johnson card. You guys could tell at this point, but it's obviously going to be Brian Branch, free safety for the Detroit Lions. Going to be an absolutely disgusting card. And what else is going to be disgusting is when I open 15 
15 million coins to open over 400 eggs in a couple of days so be around for that video boys it's gonna be a banger i pulled tons of limiteds in that video you do not want to miss it and i'll be opening all the eggs on easter sunday but so have notifications on it do not miss it and if you guys enjoyed this video click this one right here where the biggest and most famous streamers on the internet built my team like ninja tim the tap man and many more click it right now i'll see you there in just a second if i fail my challenges in it, i'm giving away over a hundred dollars in gift cards to you guys